uh, a Spice Queen. I have a raffle running, so let's first make a raffle together. Uh, so because every 20 minutes I'm giving away cryptos, for example, the various SLP tokens, including Spice. And the raffle ended approximately uh, a couple of minutes ago before all these uh, technical difficulties happened. So I'm going to run a raffle, uh, 11 participants, good luck to everybody. And let's see who won it this round. Jules Dao, congratulations, you're the winner of this raffle. Let me spin the raffle wheel for you. Let's see what he won. 800 renewable cash is going to be multiplied. And then I'm going to start a new raffle. 800 renewable cash with a multiplier of 5 makes 4000 renewable cash. Congratulations, Jules Dao. Yeah, great. Great price. Uh, 20 minute raffle starting again, exclamation mark raffle to participate and then we have now 20 minutes until that clock counts down and we have all the time to introduce you and Spice to all the people watching the stream. Um, let me write it down once more, 4000 renewable cash. Spice Queen, I met you, what was it, two weeks ago for the first time online, maybe three weeks, maybe even a little little bit longer than that but um, I must say what a warm welcome you gave me into the spice community uh, you joined you joined one of my first uh, streams here you became a member of uh, or a follower of the stream and um, well uh, it's just been amazing uh, it has been an amazing experience so far to run these spice raffles and uh, you have been funding my wallet for that so thanks a lot i just besides one bitcoin cash by the way of super nerd he also just donated a hundred uh, he just donated a hundred thousand spice um so uh, i was gonna ask you yeah, yeah it, it is and i was gonna ask you hey could you fill up my wallet because i'm running low but my first question is now out of the window um so Anyway, um, I played a small introduction video of the Spice, uh, uh, Spice video that came out on the 1st of April, which was not an April's Fool. Um, but maybe you could tell us a little bit. It was, and, and that made me think that I had to, you had, had to have you in the show here. Uh, because, well, you are so prominent in that video and uh, you agreed, so here we are. And... Maybe you can introduce yourself a little bit to the people and why you like Spice so much and uh, the floor is yours. Wait, wait a second, Laura, Laura, you are now muted on Skype. You have muted your Skype microphone. I think, okay. I think, I think now it should work. Can the chat, uh, can the chat confirm that we hear the queen? Hello. Can they hear me now? Uh, let's see. She muted herself on, uh, on the, on the, uh, Skype chat. There's yeah. a small well, delay. I I had to mute my uh, speakers. Okay, it works. So you okay, you are you. They can hear you now. Okay. So basically, what I had, what I was saying is that uh, it spice came about when SLP started because we were members, myself and the other founders were members of a community called Coin Spice, which is a news network. And we were in CoinSpice and we had Combot and we kept saying it would be so much more fun if we were actually tipping something besides just giving a thumbs up, thumbs down. And when SLP came about and basically it showed appreciation, we were able to say, hey, here's you know a little something for saying thank you. And we always had a competition in CoinSpice, who could have the most thumbs up, who could have the most thumbs down. And it was really a lot of fun. And then when 
you know, SLP came about, Spice Toshi said, hey, look at what I developed here. Wouldn't this be fun? And I said, absolutely, this would be great fun. This is exactly what I've wanted this whole time. Therefore, we then developed Spice. And it came from, you know, our participation in Coin Spice, which and is another Telegram group. And so that's where the name comes from, because I was wondering about that. Uh, this is better, though. Thank you, Spice, because there was the echo again. Um, but uh, so I was wondering why, why the name Spice. So that's that's from uh, the Coin Spice community. That's where it came from. I didn't know that. Well, yes. Uh, it came from CoinSpice, which is a news outlet, but they are not affiliated with the Spice token. Okay, but that's uh, uh, maybe Spice Toshi had something to do with CoinSpice, and that's how he came up with the name. Maybe something like that. Well, we're all actually friends, all you know, in the Spice community, and we're friends with the CoinSpice guys. And we spent a lot of time in that chat room, and that's how we all basically became friends, was in the CoinSpice chat room. All right, all right. Nice to hear. And um, so from that video that I just played in the stream, we can see that it started to trade on uh, crypto field. People have been pointing me out at the CryptoField website. I registered an account there. You can now, uh, if you want to help the stream, you can register through my referral link. I bought some drop tokens last week. Uh, just before, uh, it seems like I got the last cheap ones. <laughs> Lucky me. Thanks, uh, community of my stream, to point me towards that token. Um, and I wanted to ask, what is the future development of SPICE going to be? Is it just going to be a growing community that dips each other? Or is there anything special that uh, you are thinking of that uh, you want to introduce to the community as kind of the SPICE developers? Well, not only do we have the tipping platform, but we also have SPICE.CASA. And so you can go on there and you can play dice games and win spice of course and then there's telegram groups with uh dice games and then there's also another telegram group for, that you can play rock paper scissors in and you can play these against the bot or you can play them against your friends oh, and then yeah so we also have a few other things that are in the pipeline we've also done some an airdrop um, and then with Bitcoin.com exchange, they just did a trading competition with Spice. So there's a lot of different things that are going on. Is that and, trading you know, competition still running? Is that trading competition still running? Because I believe today is the last day, but I'm not sure at the time. Um, I think that the trading competition ended yesterday. Ah, okay. okay. So in that case, uh, I have been putting people to a Bitcoin exchange as well um, with that trading competition, but uh, then it's ended. Okay, sorry people that are watching now that didn't participate. You should have watched yesterday's stream. Um, but yeah, I, I, um, uh, I really like what I like about Spice is that you can tip it here on the stream. <clears throat> I integrated the tip bot, the tip bitcoin.cash tip bot. And Spice was actually one of the first tokens there. Now you can also tip Honk. Personally, I really liked the, 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 the ethos of Honk, the, the motivation behind Honk that we all live in a clown's world and people call me a clown all the time. So. Um, that's why I, I chose to be the Honkler hangout and wear my Honkler outfit and, you know, it's, it's nice and colorful. Um, yeah, I just, um, you know, I, I wanted to give you a platform a little bit to promote Spice and talk about it. So I hope that you have something to tell the people, maybe. Well, actually, I'm not sure, but I think I might have been muted when I was talking about Spice.Casa. I might have muted my computer so you weren't coming through on it. So let me just let me just uh, say again that we have the Spice.Casa website where you can uh, play dice games. We also have the uh, in Telegram we have other dice games that related to Spice Dog Casa and you can also play rock paper scissors on there and you can play that against a bot or you can play it against the your friends so you can also trade spice crypto was the first place one of the first places 
along with Coinex, where you could actually trade uh, spice. But honestly, why would you want to trade spice when you can tip it to your friends and go back and forth on it? Because that's basically what developed spice for was just to share it with your friends. Sometimes I need more of it, right? So I, I, uh, I, if I want to give them away, I need to have some. So that's a good reason to exchange some. Um, exactly. Have- it's not like it's very expensive. You know, it's less than a penny for spice so you can go on there and you know you can just buy whatever you need you know spend a dollar and you know you get plenty of spice just to tip in telegram yeah i believe today the price is around 300 bitcoin cash satoshis which makes uh, well i don't know it's really micro micro payment one spice how many decimal places does a spice have does it go up to eight or is it zero Eight. It goes up to eight decimal places. All right. And I was wondering, do you have any kind of statistics on how many of these uh, uh, rock paper scissors game already played? Because I'm a little, I'm a financial guy. I like all these statistics and I like the numbers. And do you have anything like that available? I personally do not know the statistics. Um, however, there. I believe um, there might be somebody in the chat that knows the statistics for this. Let's see. I'm going to read the chat here. Uh, I have a question uh, asked by somebody in the chat. Ongepier asks, uh, I should ask you how you came into crypto. When was that? And uh, what is your history on that a little bit? So I came into crypto probably now almost three years ago, right when the Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash fork happened. All right. It's, it's pretty much right when I got into crypto. I got into crypto uh, via a friend of mine, and he introduced me to Bitcoin, and he kept telling me about Bitcoin, and I didn't really understand it because I was just like, yeah, whatever, it's just another fad. But then, you know, of course, the news hit of the prices and everything, and I started looking into it further. And I said, wow, this is a really great concept. Um, And plus, I travel globally. So having to exchange money all the time is quite a hassle. Mm -hmm. So I looked further into it and dug deeper. And I said, this is a really good concept. This could work. Um, You know, the only thing that I have seen is that it's just not grabbing people. There's a certain group of people that you know, pay attention to crypto and that want it to succeed and doing this through adoption and sharing it with other people. There's other, and then there's the other group of people that says, oh, you'll never succeed. This is never going to work. Well, it is working and it's working for a lot of people. It's just getting more people to engage with it. And I don't think that saying that we're going to make money with this money is the way to go about it. I think, you know, saying that this is an investment and everybody needs to invest in crypto, that's not what it is to me. It's more of a, a, it's more a fiat. It's more, you know, this is what we need to do to gain traction is we need to use it as cash. Because in essence, that's what Satoshi wanted. He wanted us to use it as cash, not as a trading platform. Yeah, I completely agree. Personally, I am using uh things like uh, crypto for more freedom i live without a bank account now since 2014 uh got into crypto 2012 i believe so um i have a super nerd telling me that the statistics are coming for this game so you are covered the statistics are there they they will be brought out Uh, i have i have another question in the chat from frommel the question is How does she feel there are only a handful of women in crypto and how does she get it appealing to women? What was the question again? You were breaking up a little bit. The question was, how do you feel that there are so few people in, uh, so few women in crypto and how do you make it more appealing for women? Well, honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, I think that women would play a huge part in crypto if they would just learn about it. I've tried to introduce a lot of my girlfriends to it and a lot of the women in my family 
And all they say to me is, oh, this just sounds too hard. Well, it's not hard. If you think about it, it's the same as using a credit card or it's the same as, you know, using Apple Pay or something like that. You just scan a QR code. I think that, you know, women just hear about it as an investment. They don't hear about it as cash. And it needs to be introduced as just like using your Apple Pay on your phone or using your credit card. It's just that easy. You just scan a QR code. Um, and I can't think of anything easier. You know, it's like, do we really know how the Federal Reserve works, you know, as a normal lay person? Nobody really knows. I mean, printer go broom, broom. But we don't know the ins and outs of the federal government and the Federal Reserve. We know that they give the bank money and then we use that money. So do we really know how it works? No. So women need to overcome that whole statistics, oh, it's too hard for me. I, I don't know how to learn. I don't know how to use it when it's really simple. And I think that, you know, when we start to get into the ins and outs of crypto, it is difficult. Um, you know, it's we're not mathematicians. You know, most of us are not mathematicians. We're not developers. We are just normal lay persons. And I think when you introduce someone into crypto, you say to them, you just scan this QR code and you're just transferring the money back and forth. You don't say, oh, you need this long, you know, you need your long address to do it. You know, because they see all these numbers and letters and they're like, what the heck is that? Well, do you really need to know what all that is? I don't think so. I mean, I've been in crypto now for almost three years and, you know, and I've hung out you know, in the Telegram chats with a lot of these developers. And, you know, honestly, I still don't know how, you know, it works completely, but I know that it does work. And as long as... I know that it works. I'm going to continue to use it. Yeah, I think media plays a big role in that as well, in that they, they make the people fearsome to crypto by trying to explain them all this technical. If you have an article in the newspaper about Bitcoin, it always goes into, first of all, they mention that uh, the, the, the weapons trader and the drug abuser are using it. And then they, they are going to make a very complicated story about blocks and how they are found and, and whatever. And in the end, nobody really knows what happens when they dial their pin code on the, on the ATM and, and, and how that is all happening. Or if you send an email, for example, to somebody, you don't know how all these servers process your, your data. The most important is that it works, right? So uh, I, th I think what you said is, is exactly right. Keep it simple, show people that it works. And uh, th that kind of answers the question on how you believe that uh, um, uh, we're going to make crypto more popular amongst, in this case, women. Yeah, we have, you know, there's a very uh, simple analogy we have. It's called the kiss. And you keep it simple, stupid. You know, so... It, I think if we just keep it simple and we just show people how easy it is instead of going into this big long explanation, that's going to help crypto succeed. You know, women are very analytical people. We tend to analyze everything, think it through 100%. Where is it going to start? How is it going to end? And but if as long as we keep doing that, you know, and we say we're going to start here and we're going to end here. But, you know, here are the here's the gist of everything in between. And this is how it's going to work. I mean, honestly, I believe in math more than I believe in politicians. And I think most people do. And most people, you know, they know that math works because it's been working for thousands of years. So believe in the math. Don't believe in the people. I think that's what a lot of it's about. Yeah, the, 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 what I like about, about crypto is that there is no, um, what I like about crypto is that the emotion is out of it because the algorithm runs it and you can trust an algorithm much more, I believe, than the emotions of people. Um, if you, I have a couple more questions here. Um, uh, Ongepier asks, what is the future of crypto? Well... 
the future of crypto, I mean, honestly, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't exactly tell you what the future is going to be. I think a lot of crypto is what people are going to make it. So we can say, oh, Bitcoin Cash is going to be number one. Bitcoin Cash is going to overtake Bitcoin. Well, yeah, that's what we want. And that's what we expect to happen. But we have to be realistic here. I mean, Bitcoin is the granddaddy. And Bitcoin started this, you know. Everybody else, we're just building on Bitcoin. You know, yeah, Bitcoin Cash is making Bitcoin better. And that is undisputable. We're faster. We're cheaper. You know, we have what it takes. We have the constant development. But I can't make any promises for that. I can't make any promises that, you know, people in India and China are going to want to use crypto. So it just has to be about education. We just have to tell people this is what crypto can do for you. This is how much money it can save you. You know, you use a credit card. I don't think a lot of people understand that when you use your credit card or you use your debit card as a store, that can cost three to 6% for that merchant to accept that credit card. But as we know with Bitcoin Cash, they can use Bitcoin Cash and it's only going to cost them a fraction of a cent if they use that. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's hitting merchants and, you know, about what is happening. Yeah, the banks make a ton of money off of our credit cards. And, you know, even though a lot of Bitcoin is saying, oh, well, unbank the banks. Let's face it. Banks are necessary for most people. You know, most people need a loan. They don't have $200,000, $300,000 to buy a house. So a bank is necessary in that respect. Um, you know, so I think we need to stop saying unbank the banks because in some aspects, the banks are necessary, you know, when it comes to loans, when it comes to credit cards. But if you can do your part and use your Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash, you're going to help the merchant. So, I mean, the answer to that question is, I don't know what's going to happen with crypto. I just know that it, I believe in it. And I believe that it can be the future. Clear answer. By now, we have talked 20 minutes. That means my raffle uh, ended. I'm going to close the entries. We're going to do one more raffle. And um, let me tell you that with your interview here, I have the most... Uh, participants ever in a raffle that means that I'm gonna double this prize that somebody is gonna win I'm gonna click the button good luck to 13 participants let's see who won it this time Linzert congratulations I'm gonna spin the raffle wheel for you let's see what you won Linzert one Liberland merit for the ones that don't know I am located 30 miles away from Liberland I have the Liberland passport i received that a couple of uh, years ago with a multiplier let's see uh, how many times we go one so linzert one liberland merit doubled by me because the 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 entries exceeded the previous record then i'm gonna start a new raffle 20 minutes counting down uh, exclamation mark raffle to participate in the new raffle and then I have a next question from somebody in the chat um, Louis Merino wants to know what is your most favorite holding and which uh, crypto can you advise everybody to have a couple of well that's the easy Bitcoin cash that's the best crypto best token of course is spice but you know Hawk is you know second runner up so but uh, yeah, well, and well, also I'd like to any any I'd SLP like token. To oh, sorry, sorry. Let, let let go ahead. I want to congratulate Linzard. He can now join me in Liberland because we now have Liberland tokens, both him and I. Yay! So Liber Liberland is the way to go. And Koss right. said the other night he's going to have uh, boats for us. So. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can talk hours on that one, but that's that's maybe for another moment. Um, I I have um, um, uh, I have another question. I'm not sure who asked it, but the question was uh, with the recent Bitcoin Cash halving, the hash rate dropped. 
currently we see some slow blocks in Bitcoin Cash. Do you have any uh, opinion on that? Well, of course the hash rate is going to drop. It was happening. I mean, the same thing happened to SV and the same thing is going to happen to BTC. You know, over time it's going to increase again. So I'm not really worried about, you know, I'm not really worried about the hash rate dropping. It happens to everybody. Um, let's look at what happened to Litecoin. I mean, my God, Litecoin has plummeted. But the difference between us and Litecoin is we're still building, we're still here, and we're still competing. So it's going to come back. You know, people are going to come back as soon as the BTC happening happens. And their, you know, hash rate is also going to drop. People are going to come back to BCH, be, you know, to keep mining because that's just the way that it works. I mean, if we weren't building and we weren't competing on Bitcoin Cash, I, you know, would have concerns. But we are, you know, and everybody is still competing. And that's what it's about, you know, is keep building, keep wanting and keep helping others. Uh, this is the first halving that we actually see three bitcoins. I recognize three bitcoins at least. You have a lot more forks, but uh, there is, for me, there is a Bitcoin Core, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin Satoshi Vision. So this was the first halving that these three were competing with each other. And um, I have another question from somebody. Shouldn't Bitcoin Cash be another algorithm than SHA-256, a uh, more ASIC proof algorithm? Hmm. Who asked that question? The question was asked by Frommel NL. He is a uh, regular on my stream. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I can say that I don't know the answer to that question. All and right. I don't want to come up with the bullshit answer, you know, and then look like an idiot. So <laughs> basically, there is, I just don't know the question. I don't too, know the answer. Too technical, too technical. Does anybody have a more, less technical question from for Spice Queen here? I'm uh, I'm trying to keep up with the chat. With the chat, it's going crazy at the moment, Spice Queen. You you are a uh, uh, how to say it? You are a famous person. I can see that because uh, you brought a lot of people to my chat. I really like that. I actually I think by now I made it into the. I have a goal of a hundred followers. And I think I'm getting very close with all the new people. <laughs> I have a, I think here is a funny question of uh, Gigolo JC Denton. I think he knows you. Do you love Gigolo, Gigolo Joe? <laughs> <laughs> of course I love Gigolo Joe. Everybody loves Gigolo Joe. <laughs> I thought that. Uh, Linzer then asks if you like unicorns as well. <laughs> Only in my dreams, Linzer. Only in my dreams, buddy. So, Spice Queen, let me ask you another kind of question, because I see that you're so active and it's happening all the time. How much time do you spend in all these Telegram groups? Is this like your second uh, second job? Is is this your... Are, are, do, do you live with somebody? Do you have a social life out of crypto? Because sometimes I wonder, what is she, what, what, what does her life look like? <laughs> Okay, so I do have a job where I work from 7.45 in the morning till 5.15 in the afternoon. Uh, during my lunch break, I get online and I get into Telegram just basically to check the Spice, the spice chat, make sure that everybody is playing nice. Um, when, and usually since I have to get up so early for work and my job requires me to have my wits about me, I have to go to bed fairly early. Um, so I have enough rest. So I then pop you know, in and out of the spice chats, you know, just to make sure that everything is okay and, you know, people aren't being hateful towards each other. I mean, if Telegram is one thing, it can be, number one, Telegram can be a wonderful, wonderful place to help others and to meet friends. But Telegram can also be a cesspool of hate. Um, I've seen it time and time again. I've seen people be hateful towards each other and be just cruel. I don't want that in my spice chat. Um, I believe neither Columbus nor I want that in our chat. And I am constantly in there just making sure that everybody's being kind to each other. 
Um, we've had problem with trolls coming in there and just spreading hate. I don't want that in my chat because I've seen what it can happen. I and so I do pop in and out a lot just to make sure that there are you know nobody's being scammed, nobody's being hurt, feelings aren't being hurt. So I do have to pop in and out a lot. I do have a social life, um, but you know. I, I just feel like it's important to make sure that everyone is treated fairly, especially in Telegram. There's so many people in there that I have grown to care about. I mean, these people I would have never met in real life, but they've become really close and dear to my heart, especially in my chat. Those people are so kind and so sweet, um, and they need help. I, honestly, they just... You know, they just really need help, whether it be financially or, you know, just stability, knowing that they have somewhere to go and somebody's going to be kind to them. Great answer. I have I have two more questions here. One is from Ongapir. He asks, what is the biggest tip you ever gave in Spice and what was it for? Um, the biggest tip I've ever given in Spice spice do you remember I, I don't actually remember I mean I've given out uh, millions of spice but that's to other spice partners so we can spread it around so if you see me on the leaderboard you know on the spice feed it's you know those are pretty much to uh, the big big ones or to other spice founders just so we can help spread it around to other people in smaller groups um, I give, I have given out, you know, my, this tip that I like to give the most, and you know, there's other people in, you know, there's other admins in the spice group that have gone along and they've tipped 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, but they're not in the spice group all the time. So people have said, well, you know, you don't tip as much as this other person, this other admin does. Well, the reason is, is because I tip constantly all the time. And so a lot, a lot of people see me give out this, you know, the kiss emoji or the wine emoji or the champagne emoji. I don't tip, you know, $10,000 at a time. Instead, I will tip 10,000 or not $10,000, 10,000 spice. I will tip 10,000 throughout a day, you know, or 5,000 throughout a day. I just don't do it all at once. So I like to spread it out over a period of time and amongst a lot of people, not just to one person. All right, a question from me. Do your tips go down over time as Spice progresses in price? Or do, do, are you neutral to what the value is and you have a certain, you know, I, 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 I tip every day a little bit and I don't care maybe if Spice goes to a dollar tomorrow, I still keep on giving the same tip. Or do you have that a little bit in mind like, oh wait, now I'm actually, because for me personally, I was uh, sometimes giving people a little tip, you know, and then all, when the price really shut up, I was like, hmm, I should adjust my price a little bit because the, the, in dollars it's so much now. So do, does that affect you, the price? No, I don't really pay attention to the price. I have a certain amount of spice allocated towards the Telegram group. So, therefore, I don't really pay attention to the price of it. Um, I pay attention to how much I have at the moment. So, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, a cent or ten cents. You know, if I... And my most popular emoji that I give is actually the kiss emoji. Right. And I get that out all the time. And I don't really, I don't pay attention to the price. That's just the emoji that you're most likely going to get from me. And at one point it was 50. And now the pizza emoji is 50. So I'm still, you know, in the kiss emoji is 75. I'm still giving the kisses and it's with, with you know worth 25 more all right all right clear um i have a question from crypto bro he asks what do you think of honk i love honk um i have a lot of honk i am a honk whale as a matter of fact 
uh, the difference between spice and honk is honk is basically, I believe, uh, they want to be more of a betting site, which is fine. Um, I don't really do sports, so I don't, you know, really participate in that. Uh, but I do like honk. I think that they have a lot of things going with for them, um, and especially with the SBS token. So the SBS token is to help raise funds to develop this website. So I'm invested in both SBS and I'm invested in Honk. I, you know, Honk was, was our first competitor and I'm friends with the Honk guys. Um, so I want Honk to succeed, of course, cause I have Honk also. Uh, but I think they have a lot going for them with the sports betting sites. Let me just make a small commercial for the stream that you can win up to 50 SBS tokens on the raffle wheel of my uh, Honkler Hangout raffle wheel. If you want to participate in that giveaway, press exclamation mark raffle in the chat and you will be in the list of participants. Um, we are giving away a to total of 500 SBS tokens in the Honkler Hangout. I have a question from Ju Bao. He asks, will there be more Bitcoin Cash meetups after this quarantine period is over? And what is the one, which one are you most looking forward to? Oh my gosh, yes, there's all Always going to be meetups. I even host a meetup in my area. Um, right now, the, I think a lot of the communities are doing virtual reality. So you can join these through VR. Uh, if you go to, to meetups.com and you search BCH, there you will see that there's thousands of BCH meetups all over the world. And yes, I absolutely think that they're going to continue as soon as the coronavirus is under control. Great, great. I just uh, made a small uh, SBS. Uh, if you press exclamation mark SBS, I can also, this is the complete link, uh, complete list of all the commands you can give in my chat in case somebody wants to uh, read more about one of those coins that are on the wheel or follow me on YouTube. This video is going to be on YouTube um, tonight, tomorrow, whenever I have time to process it. Um, I have another question from somebody. Ongepier asks another question. Uh, what are your favorite SLP tokens other than Honk Spice or SBS? Do you have any and which one is it? I really like um, the late, was it LEAD, the LEAD token. Uh, I think that that you know, is really great for BCH promoters, people to, you know, give out at the meetups. And I'm pretty sure that Bitcoin.com is going to start offering uh, it to accept the lead token for merchandise on their website. I also like our new uh, renewable cash. I think Nathan is doing a great job and he has a lot of passion for you know what he is doing in the projects all right clear Re uh, by the way renewable cash also on the raffle wheel of uh, honkler hangout yeah for me spice queen i'm thinking what what should i ask you more um you already said a little bit you spoke a little bit about uh, uh, oh uh, you spoke a little bit about trolls in telegram i had my fair share of it myself I have a request from Shanti. She asks if I can uh, tell you hi to uh, to you and all the uh, Spice family, and hi to Idol Columbus. I'm sure that you know who that is. <laughs> yes. And now the the chat is going wild. Hi. Everybody now wants me to say hi to you. So hello from all the 23 viewers that are currently live. <laughs> Hello. I have one more question here from Butters Leopold. What is your opinion about SMH? I'm, and can you explain me? Well, SMH, I don't know. Can you explain me if that is a token or, or what it is? Uh, SMH, sh shake my head, Butters Leopold. <laughs> Damn you. Ah, okay. I, I missed I thought he was talking about some token, your opinion on a token. I, I didn't know it. Shake my head. I learned something today, Spice Queen. 
There's SMH and SMDH. Shake my head and shake my damn head. Ah, okay, okay, okay. You already got a request to for a marriage here from the from Gigolo Denton. And uh, well, the thing is, uh, Spice Queen, um, I'm not sure what we should talk about more. Maybe we should uh, do this again in like a month or so. I really like to hear from you and. Uh, uh see what is new in four weeks from today for example i don't know if you are up for something like that but um i am amazed by the amount of people that you draw to my chat usually i run this uh this stream for like maybe 10 people my record previously i can share you some of my statistics uh i i have like uh i i previously had a record of 11 participants in one round and we are continuously breaking it this next round of raffles now has 15 participants in it so uh, i'm very glad that you're here uh, i i think that it's a, a nice way for people to uh, see you to to hear you to ask some questions and um, well I, I don't really get a lot of new ones so i don't know if you want to add, want to tell us something that is on your heart that you want to share with uh, the honkler hangout community well, uh, of course, I would be more than happy to join you again. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get this whole communication thing down uh, with uh, Skype. Or... <laughs> That's okay. Um, but let's see. Anything else I want to share? Um, I don't know. I just really feel like... You know, Bitcoin Cash and, you know, the Spice community, I think that we are really gaining traction. We're, we're going to win this war. We are going to, you know, take over, you know, the other cryptocurrencies and we're going to be a thing. Uh, you know, and Spice is going to knock Dodge out of the park. That's just a given. Um, to hell with Dodge. We're going to have Spice now. All right. And then well, I think because uh, since since you answered th those questions, I didn't really receive any new questions to you. Uh, I can say that in one hour, a minute, uh, we have uh, last a new raffle. Uh, the 20 minute timer is still counting down. If you want to participate, press exclamation mark raffle in the chat. Uh, let me just write it, give away exclamation mark raffle. And then I think uh, if you want to join me for that raffle that I'm going to double because we broke another record here with uh, more than 15 participants now. Um, we can kind of wind down this uh, first time that you were here. I'm going to edit it into a, a video that I'm going to share on my YouTube channel. You will get that video, of course. I think it was a, a great chat. We are talking ar around uh, one hour, by now 45 minutes. So. Anyway, um, yeah, if we, you know, I wrote a couple of questions, you answered them. I think we, we had a great time together and I don't want to hold you anymore on, uh, on, on Easter day. If I would have known Spice Queen that today was Easter because two weeks ago we, we, we agreed to that you would come here and I completely didn't know that it was Easter. So I'm, I'm very glad that uh, you are here. If I would have known today was Easter, I would have probably picked another day because I think People are with their families today and who's going to watch this stream? I'm really surprised that uh, so many people are here. So thanks everybody for uh, for being here. Um, I'm going to... I had also completely forgotten it was Easter um, until you know somebody said, oh, you're doing it on Easter. And I was like, oh, yeah, whoops. Yeah, well... <laughs> but that's... I think, you know, a lot of the people, the fact that, you know, a lot of the followers are in other countries and they're hours ahead of time. They've already spent their time with their families. So um, I think that this was a good time because a lot like in Europe, you know, you're six hours ahead and then in the Philippines, they're 12 hours ahead. So I think that this was a good time. And not to mention people couldn't go to church today you know, to celebrate Easter. So I think it worked out well. It gave some, you know, people things to do. Yeah. By now, my raffle time uh, went down to zero. I'm going to pick another winner. We have 16 participants joining this raffle. 
Good luck to all 16. Let's see who won it. Super nerd. Congratulations, super nerd. Let's see what you won, man. I'm gonna spin the wheel for you. Good job, soup. Good job, soup. Five SBS tokens with a multiplier. Let's see how much he won. Multiplier of two this time makes 10 SBS tokens. Super nerd, congratulations. 10 SBS coming your way. Uh, everybody that wins a prize, by the way, please send me uh, your address in a whisper on Twitch. And I will send out all the prizes to... Uh, uh, I will send out all the prizes before the next stream starts. Then I am going to start a new raffle, of course. 20 minutes counting down starting now. Exclamation mark raffle to participate in that one. And then spy screen. Um, oh, I see a. I, I, now I missed something. I have an, another donation. Super nerd donated 10 spies. Thanks, man. I missed your. Uh, I missed if you wrote anything with it. Sorry for that. Um, and then I think we can uh, wind it down a little bit, uh, spy screen, and uh, say uh, that it was kind of successful, although we had a little bit of a technical complication. I am at least I got your image on the screen. It worked out in the end. We got it all done. So. Um, if you want to say anything, then um, you can, but otherwise I think we should uh, call it for now and, uh, well, continue the conversation on Telegram, maybe. Yes, well, I want to thank you so much for having me and, you know, letting me talk about Spice and my how I feel about Spice and BCH, and I hope to see you again soon. For sure. For so. Okay, so I will... All right, Spice Queen, I'm going to end the call, and uh, thanks again. See you around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, that was Spice Queen. That was Spice Queen, amazing, and very nice of her that she came by. Um, I don't know what's happening. I'm... In my chat, I am completely, it's going completely wild, not used to it at all. Very nice to see that. Uh, I had some troubles in the beginning, some difficulties in the beginning, but we managed to work around it. Let me take out the other earplugs. I should look into Zoom, I guess, guys. Uh, uh, Skype was giving me some trouble previously, and uh, it, it again didn't work today as I wanted. I tested it a little bit, but not good enough, apparently. For now, let me play some music in the background. <laughs> 